Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. If you want to learn how to make this beautiful sangria, hang around. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So what do you do when there's pretty much nothing in the house except for a bottle of nasty red and people turn up? and you want to have a couple of drinks and, and just have a bit of fun. Fun, 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 fun! You make sangria. And I'm going to show you today how to make a really quick, easy, simple sangria for you and all of your friends. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to do it in a bowl. If you're fortunate enough to have a giant jug, then hey, great. I don't have a giant jug, so we're going to go into a bowl. Later on, we'll move it into a jug, but we'll start there. What we're going to do is we're going to get this, uh, Bottle of red wine. Seven hundred and fifty mils of wine. Now this is a bottle. You can use cast. You can use anything. Wait a minute. Did you say anything? Anything. Anything. Yes. Anything. 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 I'll get you, and I'll look like a bloody accident. Just any medium body red wine. It's sangria, so the cheaper the better. One over there, it's empty, now we're going to recycle that. Now we need some fruit. So what we've got here is just some wedges of light. Yeah, so we're just going to straight, nice and easy, pop those into the bowl. Got some wedges of lemon, same thing with that. Just pop them into the bowl. And an orange, these are the whole fruit here. So we've got an orange, a lime, a lemon, you can use whatever fruit you've got in the fridge. If you've got raspberries, you can put those in. Um, if you've got blackberries, blueberries, whatever you like. Um, apple that's a couple of days old, that can go in as well. Don't recommend putting in a banana, but they, if you like to live dangerously, you can pop in a banana. Put that in there. So now our bowl looks like this, it's full of fruit. Lovely. Now into that, we're going to add two tablespoons of caster sugar and about a handful of, um, a handful of mint leaves that have just been roughly torn up. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Next, we're going to use a cup of orange juice. <laughs> Pull that straight in. I want it to taste light and summery. So that's what the orange juice is there for. There we go. And about a third of a cup of brandy. Here we've just got the St. Helena imported brandy. About a third of a cup or just a good glug. Into that one there, just to give it that little extra. Mm. Because we know that on Monday morning you need to wake up with a sore head. There we go. Now this sangria, so the longer you leave it, the more that fruit is going to permeate into the wine, it's going to release all those flavours, it's going to taste absolutely magnificent. So now we're going to leave this here for about an hour. Um, and we'll come right back. All right, so now we're back. This has been sitting for a while. We've sort of mixed it a little bit. Those fruits have really released their flavors into the red wine. So now we're just going to decant it into a jug here. We're going to do it with a funnel. We're going to do that off camera because it can get a little bit messy and we're going to put some of that fruit in there as well, along with a whole lot of ice cubes, because this is best served chilled. Okay, so we've decanted that off camera and absolutely nothing went wrong. Are you sure about at that? At all, regardless of what anyone says. Liza Minnelli, lies. So here we are, lovely big decanter filled with our nice sangria and a whole lot of ice cubes. This really does need to be served absolutely ice cold. Ice cold. And here we are, we've popped a little bit of the fruit straight into the glass. A beautiful homemade sangria. That's actually really good. You should probably do the fruit first so that <gasps> doesn't happen. <laughs> I'll be yeah, I'll be right. Good luck.